is happening everybody my name's seven and welcome to a PUBG video now in today's video I'm gonna be helping you configure your Xbox one controller so that you can play PUBG with an Xbox one controller on PC so you want to come to your steam and you want to go up to the top left hand corner and click on settings now there's a long list of different settings but you want to click on controller and then inside of controller you want to click on general controller settings it'll bring up this set of different items on screen make sure that you have the Xbox configuration support ticked if you don't have this ticked you won't be able to have your Xbox controller working make sure that at this time your Xbox controller is also plugged into your PC so what we're gonna do now is you're gonna click OK and you want to go to your library and go to your games now make sure that you select player unknown battlegrounds on the right hand side of the screen you see links and at the bottom of the screen it says controller configuration when you click this this is where you'll be able to work on the buttons that you see on screen now this is my personal preset you can play around with this and change it wherever you need to and there are multiple ones online as well so what you want to do is just go to community and if you see mine in there mine is named perfect xbox one controls which you can see on screen and it's just one of the many that you can actually use if you see this perfect xbox controls one by myself then click it and use this one edit it to fit what you want as a player but there are also other ones that are very very similar to this one and you can edit every single one of them once you've edited it all you have to do is click apply configuration and this will apply to your xbox one controller and it'll be usable instantly so as you can see in the background i'm moving my cursor around in the menu i'm able to select all the different items wherever i wish to go use an rt on the controller you can cycle through all these different sections you can invite friends you can refresh your friends list you can choose the server you want to play in and of course you can also launch a game so just use RT in the menu and use your right analog to traverse around the screen so first off in today's video the setup that you're going to be using if you use my preset is going to show you this so first of all we have the left analog stick on the Xbox one controller now if you move this forwards your character will walk forwards if you move it backwards your character will walk backwards if you move left or right your character will strafe left or right now the beauty of this and of course if you're an Xbox player you will know that the best thing when you're running like this if you want to sprint all you do is push the difference between clicking the left analog stick in and out so if you press it down you'll sprint you press it in again you'll go back to walking and this is an infinite thing so all you have to do is keep on pressing the left analog in and out and in and out depending on what you want to do now the next thing is the right analog stick the right analog stick is looking 360 degrees you can look up and you can look down with this and of course when you're walking you can change the direction of your character as well as when you're sprinting as well so this is what the analog sticks do within the game now if you click in on the right analog stick you'll change your perspective so if you click it in you'll change into first person and if you click out you'll just go back to third so by using the right analog stick you're going to be able to move around change the direction your character moves in as well as changing the perspective that your character looks in now in regards to collecting items and interacting with items when you jump out of the plane you press x when you pull your parachute you press x when you open doors you press x as well as picking up items you also press x so i've just picked up a, a four times scope there so if i pan around here and you can go in you can see if i press x i'll close the door there's items on the floor here which is ammunition i can pick all this ammunition up as well like pick a pistol up now the next configuration is a so while you're sprinting or while you're walking or while you're standing still you've got to press a which will allow you to jump with your character so this will help you get over items so when they add the new motions of vaulting you'll be able to do the same with this as well you'll be able to use this to vault over items so this is obviously really really handy it's very easy to do of course if you play claw or if you you don't play claw you can just obviously switch your finger off the the movement the direction you're moving in and press a to jump now the next button on the xbox controller that you can use is a B so if you press B once it will make your character crouch just like this and if you hold down B it will make your character go prone and just to get back out of this all you have to do is click the buttons again so you press B to go crouch and then B to go standing then you can go straight into sprinting or straight into walking depending on what you clicked with your analog earlier on so once again you could be sprinting along like this and you need to get into cover and you just get right behind some kind of cover and you just want to drop down and hide from enemies hold B and you'll be able to drop straight into prone just like this now no matter whether you're prone whether you're crouched whether you're moving or not all you want to do to get into your inventory is to press Y so if you tap Y it'll open up your inventory just just like this and as you can see I'm still moving my character in the background I'm still running if I tap Y again it'll take us out of the inventory and we'll go back to being on our character and so all you have to do to go in and out is literally just by tapping Y 
Now, while inside of this, all you want to do is use your right analog to move your cursor around within your inventory. You can pick up items that are in the vicinity, and you can also apply items, and you can also drop items. Now, to do this is when there's an item in the vicinity, I'll show you right now. When there's an item in the vicinity, you want to push LT, and when you push LT, your character will do the pickup motion. You can see that in the background, and we've now picked up the item. If you want to apply an item, you either press RT and use the right analog to drag the item over to the actual weapon itself just like I have here or what you want to do you can if it if it's on in the inventory already all you can do is just press LT and it'll auto attach to the weapon assigned now say for example you want to drop some items all you have to do is press RT and just like we dragged an item before just drag it and drop it out into the ground now with my configuration I've decided that I would put RB which is on the top right hand corner of your controller as the switching of weapons and also holstering of weapons so at the moment I've got my AK holstered all I have to do is push RB and it will bring my weapon out now if I hold it down it'll put the weapon away if you have multiple items in your inventory you can use this by just tapping it once and it'll switch between items and so you can cycle all the way through all your items through all the different melees and you, if you keep pressing it it'll take you back all the way through all the items as you see here I'm just constantly tapping RB and it just keeps on switching through the weapons while I'm sprinting press RB in and of course I'll just go back to running again now when going back to the title screen if you die all you have to do is press A as it shows on screen and it'll take you straight back to the title screen so so far we've covered what the left analog stick does what the right analog stick does what the A button does what the X does what the B does and also what the Y does when we enter as well as being able to holster our weapons pressing RB so now we can pretty much move around we've got all the basics down now that we have a weapon out all you want to do is if you want to do a third person aim so allowing you to stay in third person but you have a more of a focus shot hold down the LT button with your weapon equipped if you want to go into first person with your weapon just tap it and let go so once again you can go back to third person by re-tapping it if you want to go third person hip fire you can go third person hip fire by holding lt and if you let go of lt it'll just take you back to full full view like this if you press it in just tap it it'll take you into first person just like this of course you can achieve the same thing from what i said earlier on if you do want to get the first person view just tap your right analog stick in you'll permanently be in first person view just like this and if in first person you want to get a nice cleaner shot you press and hold lt down and as you can see the crosshairs compress slightly just like that which basically is going to make you sh uh, your shot spread a little bit less now say for example we're getting shot from behind right now and you want to track where your enemy is going of course we need to be able to use the 360 alt ability so while heading in a direction we want to still be able to see everywhere around us so what you want to do is push and hold down the lb button on your controller and use the right analog stick now this will allow you to pan all the way around your actual character no matter whether you're running whether you're walking whether you stood still or whether you're prone once you let go it will just snap back to being normal like this and you'll have full control of your character's direction once again for whatever reason you want to see where the zone is actually at all you want to do is push the back button and this will load up the map for you now when you're panning around on this you can use the right analog stick to kind of move around the map wherever you want to go however when you zoom in it will zoom in towards the center piece of the map so it's best off just using your cursor and if you want to set a marker down you press LT and just tap it once like that and it'll place a marker no matter where you want to go around the map so say for example I want to go to Stabler I'll just hover over it and press Stabler like that and as long as I push back again I'll come back out of the map and of course use the, co uh, the compass at the top of the screen to actually move to the location I've marked up now that you've mastered your player controls what you want to do for vehicles is go to the driver's seat and press X on it and this will basically put you in the driver's seat now if you use the left analog stick you are able to push forward on this and it will drive you forward this also controls your turn your left and right and it also controls your brakes all of which I showcase in this clip where I'm trying to run a guy over I pull my brakes by pulling back on my LT and if at any point you want to boost all you do is click your left analog stick in just like you do when you're sprinting and it basically triggers the boost of the car which is going to help you move really really fast so once you do this you'll see in a second I'll start boosting and shooting up the road 
While driving as well, you can use the new ability to honk your horn if you really, really want to. So while driving using these, all you have to do is press RT, which is your shoot button. And while in the car, it will make you honk the horn. You have to be the driver to be able to do this. And it's a rather comical thing. You can do it before you run people over. You can do it to hurry your mates up. Or you can do it just to annoy other players that you're chasing. Say, for example, when you get in a car chase. It's a very comical thing to do. So press RT. And so, guys, that is it. That is a big basic guide to the buttons and the layout that you want to have for this game in itself these are probably some of the best layouts that you will find there will be other ones you can fiddle around with and play with it's all about customizing it to match you as a person but as long as you go through steam and you do those steps that will function really well but as you can see these buttons that i've mapped they work really really well indeed at the moment there are limitations some of the things such as changing seats and cars that haven't been mapped to the, the controller and also the movement around the map that's best just keeping it default to what they currently have since the latest update but the best thing to do play around with it customize it and just i hope that my setting helps you lots and lots play really well with a controller i do prefer a mouse for the combat but for everything else such as the movement and using the vehicles the controller does seem a lot nicer but for the actual combat itself i do find that a mouse is more efficient i hope this has helped you all let me know in the comment section below if it did thank you ever so much for tuning in my name's b7 also known as martin Lee wood like and comment on all that you love i'll see you in a future video guys take care of yourselves peace